Hi everybody. It's been a while since I made a video and I'm here because I want to just talk about how excited I am. <laughs> um, I've been going around for the past couple of weeks telling everybody, I'm so excited. I'm so excited when they're asking how, how are you doing? I'm so excited. Um, well, if you watched, I think it was my last video that I made, um, it was about why I'm so excited, which is that I have graduated with my bachelor's in psychology, and I am now teaching um, at my university, and that's why I'm so excited, because that was my goal and my dream for a long time. Um, I, yeah, I didn't think it would ever happen, but it has happened, and so now the semester has started, and I'm actually, if you didn't watch that video, just a quick overview of what I said, I am co-teaching a class with um, the man who was actually an instructor of mine last semester, <laughs> um, but he saw some potential in me, obviously, and um, offered me the chance to co-teach because he knew I was graduating, and he is in his like mid to late 60s. He's, he's older, and he's on the verge of retirement this year. He, he, I think he was intending to retire before, but I really think he's looking for somebody to take over a lot of his um, load that he's been carrying because he's the only full-time person in this department. It's the human services department, which is closely related to psychology. It's not like human, uh, it's not like human resources. It's like counseling and stuff like that. That's what human services is. Um, so it's very closely related to psychology and social work and those types of things. So I'm well suited to teach in that because I have a degree in psychology and I've, you know, been in and out of the mental health care system for the last 20 years. So I've got a lot of personal experience, um, as you guys know, if you followed me. But anyways, so we are co-teaching this class together and, um... I kind of knew that I wanted to teach, but until you get into a certain environment, you never completely know. I kind of did know that I would love it, but um, yeah, I, I really love it. And like I say, we've just started the semester um, and we had our first class and they're really long classes. They are three hour blocked classes. So that's a long time <laughs> um, to cover material and stuff, but it's exciting because it allows me the opportunity to be creative and to bring a lot of different things into it. Um, uh, obviously, we're not going to stand there and lecture for three hours straight. That's boring and nobody cares. So <laughs> I'm going to lecture some, but um, not completely. And I just, I'm really totally excited because I, psychology is my thing. I mean, I eat, breathe, and sleep psychology, like, even when I'm not specifically working on something in psychology, it's just, it's so rooted in my mind that it's always there. Like, I'm always thinking about it, and it's always a part of my mind, so what better thing for me to do than to go and talk to people about it for a living? I mean, it's kind of a dream come true that when you're good at something, um, it's not like work. It's like fun. And that's how I feel, just, and being in an academic environment. I've always been kind of a nerdy academic type person. So I enjoy being in a school environment. I enjoy just being there. Um, so I'm really, I'm happy. I'm really very happy um, for the first time in a very, 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 very long time in life. Um, I feel like I have achieved something that I worked so hard and so long for. And it's a great, great feeling. And I've said before, too, I'm a super goal-oriented person. So this is not like the end of the road for me. Like, oh, I started teaching and now it's just now I need to pick up more classes because I'm only doing the one class right now. And my teacher had said that he wants for this to become my class when he leaves. Um, and in case you didn't know, it's called individual interviewing, which basically is an intro to counseling. Um, that's what it is. So it talks a lot about kind of basic psychology and um, communication skills and things like that. So again, I'm like super excited. Next week uh, in class, I'm going to talk about resilience and self-actualization, Abraham Maslow. 
hierarchy of needs. I've actually talked about that in videos I have. So um, really exciting and fun stuff for me. Um, some about the neuroscience of the mind-body connection, why that's important. And so it's just, it's my stuff. It's really my stuff and I can't wait to do it and to go and be like, yeah. And so, like I say, we started class, we met all the students. Um, it, it seems like it's going to be good, a good semester. And I'm really seriously considering now continuing on. I mean, you guys know if you watch me that grad school was my ultimate goal. I wanted to get a PhD in psychology, um, but that's kind of far off. Sorry, that was my sleeves. <laughs> um, it, it's a long commitment. And because I'm a single mom, it was too much of a commitment for me to make. And um, there wasn't a master's program in psychology at my school. So it was kind of like, do the PhD or do nothing. But I have now learned that there actually is a master's program in counseling. It's not in psychology. But it's actually the title of it is a master of education in counseling. So you can do a lot of things with that. You can get licensed work in private practice, and I'm thinking that that may be where I want to go. Um, that I would like to not only teach, but also get my master's so that I can um, have my own practice and stuff like that. And that's another exciting possibility and goal, and um, it's hard to do as a single parent, you know? But my son is starting school in six months. And as an undergraduate, getting my bachelor's in psychology, I took care of my kids full time while going to school. And my son was never in daycare. So my dad would watch him and then I just pick him up and, and I would do my work at 11 or 12 at night, every night. It was so stressful and so tiring. But now that all three of my kids are going to be in school at the same time, it frees up that time for me to work and for me to do something. So it it's way more feasible now for me to be able to do this. And so it's another exciting um, possibility for the future um, and where I may go. So I just had to share that with everybody. It's the beginning of a new year, it's 2018. Um, this is my year. I say that every year at the beginning of the year, this is my year and then crap happens, right? <laughs> a couple months in you're like, no. But um, yeah, I really, from day one, I really felt like this, this is my year. Like stuff is turning around for me. It's, it's been a long road, but I'm finally starting to realize some of those goals that I have had. It's, it's a great feeling, a great feeling that I haven't had in many, many, many years. And so that's really what I wanted to share. I'm so excited. Oh, and I just can't hide it. It's like that stupid song <laughs> from the eighties. I don't even remember who sings this song. It doesn't matter. Anyway, all right, so I'll let you guys go. Um, and I hope that you're having a great beginning of your year as well. Um, heart, love, peace. Talk to you later.